The warm days we've had this week have spring fever setting in. Camping is very popular in New Mexico, but wilderness camping without access to the comforts of home can be and especially for the ladies. REI can ease that anxiety, though, by offering camping gear that pace with your outdoor adventures. Take a look. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about comfort camping, specifically aimed towards women's camping. There are four categories that are going to be really essential for creating a wonderful experience out there. We're going to start with bug and sun, then we're going to talk about cooking, um, a little bit about sleeping and your tent situation, and finally we're going to talk a little bit about safety. So the first thing I want to talk about is bug and sun. Um, you can achieve uh, bug and sun protection through what you're wearing. The ex officio top we have here is actually treated with insect shield, which is a uh, bug repellent, and it will last through 70 washings, which is a really long time. Um, you can also get bug protection um, with an aftermarket treatment. So this is something you can put on clothing that doesn't already have a bug treatment. Um, and then, of course, there's also treatments that you can put directly on your skin. Um, the other thing in this category is going to be sun protection. New Mexico sun is extremely intense, so we want to do everything we can to protect your skin. Um, a large wide brim hat is always appropriate. Um, again, long sleeves, long pants, and these actually zip off into shorts if you get a little too hot out there. Uh, the cool tie is really nice too. If you put this in water and wear it on your neck, it'll last six to eight hours, so pretty much all day. It's going to keep your core temperature down, keep you nice and cool. Um, you always want to wear sunblock, at least SPF 30, and chapstick with SPF treatment too. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is cooking. Um, the great thing about family camping is you can bring a whole stove with you. So this particular style has a grill and a burner, so you can boil and do your burgers at the same time. Um, if you're really into backpacking food, these are dehydrated meals. This one is my particular favorite flavor. Um, all you got to do is add water and mix them up and they're good to go. Um, they even make desserts, so mocha mousse pie, it's pretty delicious. <laughs> um, and then the last thing, I don't know about you, but when I go camping, I like to wake up with a cup of coffee. So. These are really handy. It's a coffee press that you can take with you. You put your coffee grounds in the bottom, push in the plunger, and just push it down. And as you push it down, you create your own fresh brewed cup of coffee. OK, so we're going to move into tents and sleeping bags now. Um, family camping tents are really great because they're tall. You can stand up in them um, so you don't have to hunch over when you're inside hanging out with the family. Um, these tents will sleep four to six people, so you've got a lot of room in there. In this particular tent, we've got a cot set up with a sleeping bag. The nice thing about a cot is it gets you off the ground, so you're not going to be as cold. You're also not going to feel all those bumps beneath you in the middle of the night. Um, we've got a women's specific sleeping bag set up here as well. Those bags are going to be a little bit more insulated because women tend to sleep a little bit colder. There are a couple of things you're going to want to consider for safety. Um, first of all, let's say you have to get up in the middle of the night because nature calls. Um, it's going to be dark out there. So I recommend a headlamp as opposed to a flashlight. The great thing about a headlamp is because it's on your head, it's going to be always looking in the direction you're looking. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about tripping. Um, and it's always going to give you a full flood. Um, the other thing with safety, of course, is first aid stuff. Uh, cuts, burns, that sort of thing. Always bring a first aid kit with you. Um, something that's got band-aids, antiseptics, um, something for our sting relief as well. Um, along with that, I would br bring a blister kit. Um, your feet are the most essential thing when you're out there hiking. If you get a blister, it can change everything. A blister kit will make it very easy to treat something like that in the field so you don't have to cut your trip short. And then finally, a lot of people have concerns about bears. Um, we have a couple of things you can do there. Bear Boxes and bear bags are going to allow you to store your food in a way that a bear won't be able to smell it and detect it. Um, we also have bear bells, which are a really great way to scare off the bears so you don't have to confront them. If you do come into a dangerous situation, um, bear spray is also extremely effective. Just make sure that you're standing upwind from it so that you don't spray yourself. Um, 
So that all together is everything that I think is important to cover for comfort camping. You've got your bug and sun, um, cooking, your shelter, and your safety. If you've got all four of those areas covered, then you should be able to have a really relaxed, wonderful time. That looks like pretty comfy camping, I'd say. And Albuquerque REI is located on Mercantile Avenue Northeast. And in Santa Fe, REI is in the rail yard. You can also log on to REI.com for more information on that. And, of course, there's much more to come on New Mexico style. Find out why Nikki and Elias are shaking their little tushies on the catwalk. You're going to want to see this. Stick around.